Hey everybody, Max Kevin here's Little Cutie Podcast. It's not too long. Oh, tonight's the night. Tonight's the night of the Tokyo Comedy Bar, King of Kanto, Comedy Competition Semifinals. And guess who's gonna be in it? Guess who? I'll give you one guess. Can you guess? Nope, not Bill Burr. Guess again. Nope, not Anthony Jeselnik. Guess again. Nope, not Burt Kreischer. Guess again. Nope, not George Carlin. He's dead. You're an idiot. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be in it. Uh, I'm gonna be up there. This is the semifinals, you know. Actually, I, uh, I, uh, didn't even go to the uh, quarterfinals there, you know, because uh, I'm what you call, I'm what you call a regular there, you know, the Tokyo, you know, the quarterfinals. That was for the, that was for the new kids. That was for the open mic kids, you know. I'm more, you know. I'm, I'm what we call it in Japanese a senpai. I'm a cute little senpai. So I get to... Me and the other comedians, you know, that uh, that are, uh, you know, halfway decent. Didn't have to go to the quarterfinals there, you know. So anyway, uh, yeah, it's tonight there, yeah. Yeah, I was looking at, I was looking at the, uh, I guess four, I guess there's five, there's nine, nine, eight or nine of us competing and four of us get to go. To the finals, the grand finals, Sunday night, 9 p.m. The best time for a comedy show, Sunday night, 9 p.m. That's that's when everyone wants to get really drunk. You know, Sunday night, 9 p.m. That's the best drinking time right before work. You know, on Monday, that's again, it's going to be... That's great. Anyway, uh... Yeah, so, uh... I feel, I feel, I'm looking at... I'm just, just looking at the, uh... The list of... I feel like I should... I feel like I should uh, advance to the finals there, you know, just based on who else is, you know, who who else is performing. I feel like I, I'm at least uh, I'm at least uh, the top half of that group. I feel anyway, my opinion, and of course I'm a narcissist, so I'm I'm better than everyone at everything, pretty much. Even even when life uh, constantly shows me what a giant failure I am, I'll never stop. Believing that I'm better than everyone, even no no matter no matter how many times I fail, I'll I'll never stop believing that I'm so much better looking than most people. Um, anyway, uh, yeah, so uh, doing that, doing the that, doing that tonight should be fun, should be good. You know, of course, the judges are the, are some of the other comedians that have actually already they I mean they've seen my set so many times that they've already memorized it. You know. But just, I guess I kind of—it's kind of my fault that I haven't really written anything new recently. You know, I was looking—I was thinking back. Yeah, in the past three years, I've written three minutes of new material. So you know, I'm pretty prolific. I'm pretty pro- I'm right up there with, uh, you know, the prolific guys. Uh, who's who's prolific uh, right now? I don't know. Sam Morrill, I guess. Joe List. Joe List's been putting out a special every year. Um. Yeah, anyway, uh, yeah, so when I, you know, when I, uh, when I usually do my, you know, I was talking about a f- few episodes back, a few months back there that I, I think I finally figured out my, uh, my onstage persona there, you know, and, uh, the thing is I, I kind of, I still, I still kind of, uh, it's not that I haven't decided, it's just that there's two different styles that I like doing, you know, I guess one is sort of like a high energy version of me, and then one is sort of like a slow depressed version of me. And I kind of, I kind of prefer the slow, the slow depressed version. You know, I've, I've always kind of preferred those type of comedians. You know, like the, uh, like uh, Stephen Wright. You know, Mitch Hedberg, those type of comedians. You know, that are kind of slow, and uh, you know, just kind of deliver their jokes there. You know, uh, Gary Veter recently, he's he's one uh, comedian. Check him out, Gary Veter. You know, he does the slow style there, and you know, you know, a lot of comics kind of do like the high energy style, you know, which, uh, in my opinion, it's kind, of, it's kind of cheating, you know, it's kind of cheating, like, okay, like, recently there's some visiting LA comedians coming to, uh, Japan there, and I saw one of them, he was, de- yeah, he was alright, he was decent, you know, nothing to complain about, a good perform, great performer, I mean, the jokes themselves were kind of just, eh, they were kind of just, eh, you know, they were alright, you know, nothing special, I mean, they weren't bad, they weren't bad at all, I'm not, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying they were nothing special, you know? But the audience reaction 
to those nothing special jokes was much more than it would have been had he not been like high energy, you know, like yelling. Like a lot of comedians just kind of yell, yell and like move around a lot, you know, which, uh, you know, it, in my opinion, it's, it's, kind, it's kind of cheating because it sends the signal to the, you know, it sends the signal to the audience that this is funny. This is funny. You're supposed to laugh here, even though like there's nothing actually to laugh at, you know, it kind of tricks the people's brains there, you know. I guess the best example of this is probably Kevin Hart. I don't know if you guys heard of this guy, Kevin Hart. Uh, have you ever wa- watched any one of his specials? I, tr- I tried to watch one of his specials. I watched it for 20 minutes. It's not, not only did I not laugh once, is that I didn't even understand any, uh, like, there were zero punchlines. Like, there were no punchlines. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm watching... Like, like mo- I mean, jokes are, are quite... Uh, uh, most jokes are quite formulaic, you know, like, uh, the, you know, the punchline will subvert expectations, we say, you know, so like, okay, okay, for example, you know, like, uh, oh, the colors of the rainbow are, are red, yellow, uh, what is it, red, orange, yellow, green, you know, so you're expecting green, you know, but if someone says, that the colors of the rainbow are red, orange, yellow, go fuck yourself, you know, that's, okay, that, sub- that subverts expectations, you know, like, you're expecting to hear green, but you heard, go fuck yourself, you know. I probably said I probably should have said go f yourself because now the L is not going to share this. But anyway, uh, I mean that's that's the big that's the basic premise, and and the best jokes are the ones that like not only subvert your expectations, you know, it's like you you thought you were supposed to hear green, but uh, uh, you know instead you heard go f yourself. Okay, but the best ones are not only do they subvert your expectations, but they also say something that you should have known. Like, I would say, like, red, orange, yellow, emerald. Right, okay, it says emerald is the green color, but it's not, you know, it's a different word than green, so. You know, in, in the person's mind, they're like, oh, I wasn't expecting that, ha, ah, but I should have, ha, ha, you know, and that's, those are the, uh, those are the ultimate jokes. Yeah. Not only do they subvert expectations, but they also, uh, you know, sort of trick the audience into realizing that they should have, they should have expected what they didn't expect, right? So not only did they did they get something they didn't expect, but they should have expected it and they didn't. And th- those are the best type of jokes, right? Th- that's I mean that's the that's the classic uh, joke. I mean of course there are there are different different styles. You know of course there's you know just like absurd absurdity things that like make no sense. You know there's you know play, puns, play on words, you know stuff like that. And uh, then of course you know there's there's nonverbal. You know. Mr. Bean is the, you know, the king of that, you know, just like making faces, you know, you can just like make a weird face. That's kind of funny, you know, and, uh, you know, and I, and I think that's what like a lot of these comedians do who aren't the best writers, you know, they make up for it by like yelling and like moving around a lot, you know, some of these people, they see this person on stage and they're like, they're moving funny, you know, it's like, and, and I guess in their mind, they're thinking, oh, that, that guy, he's, he's moving around funny. That's, that's not normal. That's weird. Oh, look at him move. Look at him move his body like that. That people don't do that normally, you know. You don't you don't usually see a guy in an elevator moving around like that, huh? That's pretty funny, you know. Oh, and he's yelling too. That's not normal. That's not normal for conversation. You're not supposed to yell, you know. So like a lot of these, I guess it would just call I'd call him like a high energy high energy comedian, which is basically what Kevin Hart is. That's his entire thing. It's just like no punchlines, but just, he moves around a lot and he yells a lot, and it's like I don't, I don't I don't know what kind of person finds that funny. I don't find it funny at all. <laughs> like. Uh, I don't know. I, I, I wouldn't. It's it's difficult to make me laugh, and um, uh, especially like when in people's writing, you know. So so like whenever I, whenever I watch a comedian, I'm really just looking for the writing, and I'm always. I'm it's it's difficult for me to or any any comedian I would say when they're watching other comedians to like laugh because most of us were analyzing the jokes as we as we watch. We're not just sitting there enjoying them. So so anyway. Um, back to what I'm talking about is, is when I perform, you know, I, pre- I prefer to perform in the low energy style, you know, but the thing with that style is the writing has to be so good that it makes up for the lack of yelling and moving around, you know, and, uh, you know, when I, pre- I perform, I perform the set, the same exact jokes in one, I'll do it more high energy and one, I'll do low energy and the low energy one almost, ne- it almost never works. It almost never works. And the thing I was talking to one of my buddies about this is, is that like the, 
it it works for people that enjoy comedy. You know that that people have seen many comedy shows and like are familiar with stand up comedy. But you know, like a lot of the people that come to these shows, it's like it's like their first time ever coming to a show. You know, they've never even seen live stand up before. You know, so it's like they're they're not even well versed in it. And so uh, I think for those type of people, it it never works. So you know, but in in my opinion, it's it's actually the superior form. You know, so I guess. I guess what I'm trying to say is, uh, I'm I'm a comics comic, you know. Make the other comics laugh, or you know, only people that can actually uh, appreciate appreciate real comedy. Only the people that appreciate real comedy like me. People that people that laugh at dumb stuff don't, you know. So anyway, yeah. I guess I'm debating which style to do at this comedy competition. Of course, because I want to win, because I'm a narcissist, you know. But uh, at the same time, I want to, you know, respect my values, respect myself. I guess now that I think about it, you know, if you do the slow style, all that matters is the writing, you know. And if it does, if that, if doing that set slowly gets fewer laughs, then I guess it means that the writing is just not good enough. Is is what it means, you know. I mean, I I think it's pretty. I think it's pretty good. Like there's this one joke I do that always got huge laughs in America, but it's never worked over here. It almost never works. It rarely works. And I don't. I don't know. If, I don't know why that is. I don't. I guess maybe American audiences are more used to the stand-up style. I don't know. I think it, it's. I think it's one of my best jokes. But yeah, that's another problem too. Is you know all the jokes that I like, all the jokes that I think are the best. Like the audience doesn't seem to like you know, and they kind of like the dumb ones that aren't that good. You know, so I guess you always got to keep that in mind as a comedian. You know, you know. The audience doesn't, you know, they're 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 just there for the first time. You kind of have fun, you know. They don't really care about your, about your political opinions. They don't care if you're changing the art form or whatever. They just want to get drunk and have a laugh. How about I do? Yeah. Anyway, uh, it's like competitions tonight, and uh, I don't know. Hopefully, I'll go to the grand finals there. If not, I'll burn the building down. Of course, it's mad up brick, so I don't know how well it'll burn. But uh, anyway, thanks for listening. We'll see you tomorrow.